2018 Smart Photo Review. A high sale price, limited range and also a tight cabin greatly diminish the photo electrics appeal. With a smallish passenger compartment, limited cargo room and underwhelming performance, the Smart Photo is not going to be a mainstream vehicle. But considering it can go with almost any parking space and start a dime, it undoubtedly has niche appeal for consumers residing in dense cities. Well, since niche is even smaller. Smart has discontinued the gasoline-powered model from your current lineup, leaving exactly the four-to electric drive version. On the upside, we believe the electric affords the better driving with the two. It doesn't possess the gas models or shifting transmission, also it benefits through the electric motor's instant torque and smooth acceleration. However, the electric is more expensive versus the old gas model, and it is maximum variety of 58 miles is much less than some other EVs. All with this piles on the fort was existing problems say for example a punishing ride as well as a low rent cabin. We can't help but recommend checking out other Fs within this price bracket for better range, greater utility far better emphasis on passenger comfort. What's new? The gas-powered Forto and its particular unique options for example the Brabus Sport Package and Proxy Trim have already been dropped for 2018, leaving the electric the one variant inside lineup. Standard equipment now features a rear-view camera and voice recognition through Siri Eyes Free and Google Now software. Android Auto functionality is protected when you pick the smart media system, along with a 10th anniversary edition package can be ordered around the coop. The cost of the 2018 Smart Forto Electric is remarkably high given its shortcomings in utility, comfort, quality and electric range. So keeping the money outlay low by obtaining the base Pew model appears like a good idea. But from the grand scheme of things, promoted doesn't cost a lot more to upgrade up Prime Trim. Doing so gets you leather upholstery, a panoramic sunroof, heated seats plus much more. Look to go for the center armrest and JBL head unit, a big improvement above the standard two speakers. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Smart Photo Electric is often a bite size city car with seating for just two understand? And also a surprising number of passenger space inside. The Forto Coupe is sold in three trims, Pure, Passion and Prime, whilst the Forto Cabrio Convertible will come in Passion and Prime levels. There isn't a huge price differential relating to the trims, nevertheless the starting MSRP due to this stylish two-door F is pretty high. As with many cars created by parent company Mercedes-Benz, there are various of available features packages and standalone options. The Forto Electric 17.6 kilowatt hours lithium-ion power supply and 60 kilowatts motor 80 horsepower and 118 pound-feet of torque drive the spine wheels directly. The EPA estimates that this smart Forto Electric can travel as much as 58 miles before it runs out of juice and takes 3 hours to charge jail battery having a 240 volt energy. The Forto Coupe Space Pugrim includes 15-inch steel wheels with plastic covers, LED daytime running lights, cruise control, power windows, a rear-view camera, a person information display, cloth upholstery, automatic climate control, Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity, plus a toss speaker speakers with an auxiliary input along with a USB port. Also standard could be the ability for iOS and select Android smartphone users to download a complimentary cross-connect app that controls phone, audio, internet streaming radio, vehicle information and also a navigation system. The Passion Trim adds alloy wheels, heated and power adjustable mirrors, contrasting interior upholstery, a leather wrapped controls, a height adjustable driver seat. Yet another storage compartment within the center console, along with a retractable cargo cover. 
The Prime further dresses the smart with fog lights, cornering lights, a panoramic glass roof, automatic headlights and wipers, leather upholstery, heated seats and interior ambient lighting. Several options packages are accessible for the Smart 4 to electric. The cold weather package adds heated seats and extra cabin insulation, and also the new sport package Passion and Prime only dresses within the Forto with 16-inch alloy wheels and metal pedals. The 10th anniversary edition pack is just like the Sport, nevertheless the wheels are of a different design and certain exterior elements are painted blue. Thea is also the Smart Media System bundle, which combines a 7-inch touch screen a navigation system and Android Auto functionality. It can be ordered with or without a six-speaker JBL sound system. Individual options include rear parking sensors, a forward collision warning system, imitation leather premium vinyl upholstery, a center armrest, as well as a phone cradle that positions your smartphone inside middle with the dash so that it can function as being a touchscreen controller. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically can be purchased in multiple versions which are fundamentally similar. The S within this review provide our first drive in the 2017 Smart 4 to Electric Prime, in addition to the full on the gasoline powered 2016 Smart 4 to Proxy Turbo 0.9 liters in line 3, 6 speed automatic, FWD, which can be no longer available. Note, since this test was conducted, the existing Smart 4 Tro lineup has gotten some revisions, for example the deletion on the gasoline-powered 4 Tro model starting this coming year. Our findings on the gas-powered version carry over to your rev model, likewise. Height assume the 4 Tro gets dinged on comfort because of its smallness, but size doesn't aspect in here. Seat comfort is compromised for aesthetics. Plus the suspension is significantly too stiff to deliver any peace over rough city roads. Seat Comfort The cushions offer decent padding but of minimal lateral and lumbar support. Ride Comfort With an extra short wheelbase, large road bumps are an outing. Hit all of them some speed, and yowd leave your seat should you weren't strapped to it. The ride is continuously busy because on the stiff suspension tuning. Noise and vibration. Levels of road and tire noise are generally quelled, however the Fort was flat front nose pushes it just like a mini bulldozer, rendering it sound windy outside always. In the cabriolet, noise is more apparent. Interior. Some cost saving measures like the non-adjustable cup holders molded in the hard plastic center console, are laughably obvious. But there are numerous redeeming qualities towards the Fort Was interior, like generous passenger leg and headroom and also a cabin design seems modern and fun. Ease of usage The stereo is basic but simple to use. The climate controls may also be straightforward and so are done up inside of a creative and stylish fashion. Simple really does work. Getting and jetting out. Wide door openings and also low steep in makes tiny car surprisingly simple to get into. However, the doors are long, which could hamper your capability to easily open them in tighter parking spaces. Roominess. The photo results in a mirage of roominess inside. The steering column doesn't telescope, though the high roof and useful level of seat travel mean six foot tall drivers will fit relatively comfortably. But when another six footer climbs to the passenger seat, you are aware of how narrow the vehicle really is. Visibility The thin front roof pillars and also a big windshield provide good forward visibility. Nevertheless the rear view mirror is narrow and thick rear roof pillars create big blind spots. The cabrio's tiny rear window causes it to become even harder to view out back. Positive thing rear view camera is standard for 2018. Quality With the exception in the seats and headliner, 
it's unlikely that any surface from the cabin is soft on the touch. A chic and trend-looking home design makes the hard plastic appear less cheap, however it's hard to choose anything of real quality with this cabin. Utility You don't think of buying a smart expecting much within the way of storage solutions, however the Fortwo does the very best with what it provides. The pull-out drawer through the center console is clever, similar to the storage nets behind the seats. The bottom edge from the soft top folds as much as increase the cargo opening. Small item storage. There are two small central cup holders and also a decent size holder in each door. There's a net behind the seats that may carry light items just great. A small tray slides out in the central console for the passenger side, which can be good for keys, coins as well as other small things. Cargo space. The passenger seat cleverly folds flat for extended cargo items, but 9.2 cubic feet of trunk space are few things special. The Cabrio's cargo area measures 8.9 cubic feet, decreasing in order to 6.7 cubes if your top is rolled down. Only small convertible sports cars offer less. Technology The free Cross Connect app that turns your phone into an audio and navigation controller can be an innovative method to integrate touchscreen controls with all the basic radio setup. The 7-inch touchscreen is really a worthy upgrade. Yeah.